Hey guys, check out realfactory.com and use Owen FIFA at checkout for a discount. We do everything guys, comfort trade and um, player trades, everything like that. Look if you see here, all for a great price. Um, they do lots of different prices of coins, so a million, 100k, whatever you want. And all the players like De Bruyne inform, all the team of the year, stuff like that. And also guys, you do have a 24-7 support series where you can even look at your tickets that you've bought. There's sort of chat option and loads of different questions and answers, so you'll have no problems at all. But yeah guys, check out Mule Factory and use Owen FIFA at Check out. Hey guys, what's going on today? Welcome back to episode 2 of the Stevens Career Mode. So we were 10 games in last time. I skipped it forward like 3 days just to be ready for the next game. Um, we had Mackel Smith, we released his loan, and this Soros guy is on about trying to play. This Sasha Baston's in a meltdown, so he'll be leaving soon, I think. We'll get straight into it. Cambridge is the next game. We end September here. Um, hopefully, we'll get a little point out of this. Cambridge look awful. We actually win 3 0, which is really nice. Lakin scoring and two for List, which is nice. So, obviously, List on the wing and Lakin in centre mid, actually, which is a really, really interesting one. But I'm going to just go and change this up quickly and go and set this as a 4. I don't know. I might go. With a 4 4 1 1 with the midfielders like this. And then I'm going to put Kennedy in the middle and I'm going to put Davies in his right position and just see how that goes. Davies hasn't done anything yet really for me and I think he is good enough to. So I'm going to hopefully try and um, yeah, just see that. Obviously, I've done this straight after the last episode, so the first one hasn't been uploaded yet as I do this. But let me know, would you rather me play finals or sim them? Because obviously, if I play them, it might be like, oh, you might say, oh, you've got it on a shit difficulty, it's easy. You're always going to win the finals, whereas I could just sim them. It's up to you. Like, obviously, I'll do it however you like. like I'm happy to sim them because it saves me having to play a game, which is fine by me um, on this game. 72 to 94 is always good. 66 to 92. 67. Yeah, why not? And another goalkeeper. We don't need any more keepers unless we can just resell them for profit. Another keeper. Unless we get like an 80 to 95 keeper, I'm not interested. Then we'll just get him in. Um, but yeah, nothing there. Another goalkeeper. Really annoying actually how many goalkeepers you get. I hope they fix that next year. Nothing else there really as such. There's nothing great came through there actually in that month. Which might mean we can send them out somewhere else. But we do get um, Archie Harris who's um, looking decent. And same with this Harrison Shaw. I'm going to leave them in here for a month. I think that's the best thing to do. And I can kind of see where they go from here. Um, yeah, you see Scout is available, so we're going to send this guy out. This time, we're going to go to Denmark, and we're going to put it on nine months, why not? And um, these two are still going, it's six months, so uh, yeah, I'm going to send them out on a long sprint, like stint out, because why not? I mean, they're literally just, we can go and find some talent in Denmark, hopefully we'll get ourselves the next Ericsson, and we'll probably end up with a load of goalkeepers, but you know, we can hope. So we go into the game against Colchester here, they're one in three either. Against a lot of teams out of form at the moment, we should hopefully take advantage again. But we get absolutely smashed by Colchester, as probably I would have expected to if I didn't see the form. But then we get a training session, which is always good. Love a training session. Um, it gives us a chance to boost some more ratings. Um, here we go, and no one really um, goes anywhere with that, which is a little bit annoying, but... We go into the leasing.com trophy with Lincoln, the league above actually, so we'll see how we do against Lincoln. They won against Oldham 4-1 and lost to Birmingham in the other cup games they played. And we were really unlucky actually. We went to 2 all and a minute later conceded to George Grant. So we lose 3-2. Um, bit of a shame, but the more worrying thing is the Cuffords are for two weeks, which is a little bit annoying. Um, Bastion wants to leave, which I'm more than happy with. He's literally pointless now. But as you can see, he is the same rating as our 17-year-old keeper who's going to hopefully go to like a way higher rating. I mean, if he stops at 61 now, then whatever. Uh, Farman wants to play, but I think he knows he won't be playing again either. Another team really out of form would hopefully get a point at least here. We really want a point. Hopefully a win, though, and it's a 0-0. Hess we should have really won that. Hessenthaler got sent off to them after 30 minutes, so... We had 60 minutes of playing against 10 men and we couldn't win, which is really annoying me to stop this quick because um, I forgot actually. Farman's grind to the media, which is, he's getting sold now. Um, Morris 58 now, which is good. Keeping them going up, um, we'll get them to like a 65, 66 I think, and then we'll stop training them and train some other players. That's the idea here, I think. That means they can get a good base of players then. They're all around the same rating and good enough and we'll keep rising on their own. 
just so I can kind of get a solid team for next season because I need a good all-round team, not three insane players that are all too good for the league and want to leave. That's what will probably happen if not, which is really frustrating. But, um, yeah, Davies is happy with the amount of game time he's getting. He really doesn't need training, that's the thing. Um, it's pretty good, actually. But um, we'll go to Swindon and probably expect to live. Jesus Christ, every team is so badly out of form. There's no team I've played recently that's been good. But we'll probably get beat if Jesus Christ got battered 3-0. By Swindon, I expected to lose, but maybe not quite that badly. A um, bit of a shame. Um, we've been doing fairly well recently, and we're going to go and move in. Maybe these other two players now. We'll check here with these other guys as well. Archie Harris looks um, really good actually, but it's a shame he's a left mid. We'll definitely put Harrison short. I mean, we can't not. I mean, this guy's not good enough. Um, this guy is definitely going to be the centre mid as well. Reese Richardson, but he is only, I think it was 15, so you're going to have to, or was he 15? So he's not quite there yet in terms of um, playing for us. We'll stop this sim now and get a quick training session in just before the Morecambe game. All the players look refueled, hopefully we can beat Morecambe. That would be um, really good if we can, but Wilson goes up again here, 62. So we'll get Wilson like a 63, 64, and then we'll train somebody else. Um, and that's the idea. So that means 63, 64, they're all good enough for League 2. And then they'll hopefully start growing on their own still. But we're going to just quickly have a little look at the league. And we're going to see here that we are 16 for 4 wins, 5 draws. The playoffs are 10 points ahead of us. So unless we really turn stuff around, there's going to be nothing going on this season. But a win here could put us in the right direction. Hopefully something can happen. These are really out of form. These are awful though. They're getting... Battered at the bottom of the league, and uh, we do win 1 0. List again, actually, another goal for List, which is nice. Um, he's had a few goals this season, he's probably our top scorer as well. Um, there's a load of meltdowns about not playing. We're just going to literally just tell him to shut up, basically. Learn from experience to a 35 year old, that's probably not helped them. Maybe I should stop triggering them because it's going to bring the squad morale down, but. Um, yeah, Dean Parrott's had enough, he's out of here. Um, yeah, Wilson goes up again, they're going to leave him there, I think, because he's seriously good enough now to be in League. He's a League 2 player now, basically, and he's 17, so that's more than good enough for me. Um, let me know, guys, if you think that is the right thing to do. Um, but yeah, Tom Saws wants to leave as well, which is fine, they can all leave, it's not an issue. Monthly squad update, um, not a good scene in the old uh, Denmark, but... There's one there maybe, um, it's the best we're getting, um, he not really, hit the goalkeeper again, Larry Alston not joining, 61 to 83, 64 to 90, that could be a good one, we get the occasional ones through, look they're good, that's what I like, um, I'd like to see, and yeah we're going to quickly play this game and then we're going to go and get rid of um, Wilson out of our training. James Wilden is also a really good right back. We've got a solid centre back in Digby and we can hopefully get another one with him for next season because Cuthbert's getting a bit old. So hopefully this Brandon Hill guy will get himself up to a 61, 62 by the end of the season and then we can maybe work on him. him. Cassidy's obviously not one. Kemp, no. There's Harris, but it's the same position. It's pointless for training them both. Davies is good enough. Wingers. Charlie Lakin looks good, but why don't we train Shore or White? That's the question. 5 10, 5 no. Let's go with Shore. Um, we'll take Wilson out altogether. We'll just check there's no fullbacks or anything. Is there? Weldon's nearly a 65. The two fullbacks are sorted next season. We've got some solid players now, which is good. Um, we're just filling in those gaps. Like the midfield at the moment isn't great, so we can keep getting the midfielders up and then obviously moving them on. But um, yeah, sure, there are two performances in training that weren't great. But we look at the team, it's a pretty, it's not a bad team as such, but we could do a couple of midfielders, I think, to make it better. Um, hopefully, as time goes on, there we'll get some more players in. Um, the centre back, Adam L. Abdi, is wanting to leave, which is, again, okay, why not? He's 35 years old, he's probably going to retire next season anyway, so if we can get like 20k for him, whatever. Um, but yeah, a lot of these players I won't even attempt to sell, Like, you can just go on freeze, like, I'll check the contracts actually quickly now, that'll be one thing I'll do really quickly, just because I don't want any of the decent ones to leave. I mean, that guy, not really. 
Park House, he's on loan, shit. Oh, he's on loan as well, the good ones are all on loan. Oh my god. Um, oh dear. Sasha Bastian, you can put Farmer on there as well to be honest. Diggers can definitely get a new contract. Two point four, that's fine. Tom Suarez will let go. And that's it. Um we'll just we'll get James Weldon on a renewal as well. We'll put him down to three and one point seven. Yeah, one point eight, nice. So that's decent. I can keep them too because I want to keep welding on for the next couple of years. Because why not? I mean he's more than good enough to play. So um Farman's glad that he was selling him, so um it says it all, Hellichester FC, right, there we go, he's glad he's leaving, he won't be glad where he's off to because I have no idea what league that is, and yes yeah, 16th, we're doing better than I expected actually, I thought this season would end up about 21st, 22nd, so this is a good start, if we can get a win at old, uh, against Oldham we'll be buzzing, and um, let's see if we can, 3-0, uh, List for another 2, List is on fire for us, um, is he in the top scorers? He's not, but where does he play list? The left mid, yeah, he's a good player. Kennedy's off on international, which is annoying. Uh, not Kennedy, is it Kennedy? I can't remember. Um, I think it's Kennedy. Um, I forgot to do training that week, but um, yeah, Farman's been sold actually, so that's good news. Um, he won't leave until the end of the season, though, or the end of um, whenever it is. But no, sorry, Davies is off on international, is he? Someone was anyway, I don't know who it was. Yeah, one of them was a uh, international in the round. Um, Kennedy's sent off now, so I don't know if it was him or not. Um, but yeah, um, here we go. Training, training, training into November, um, and we'll just train them on up. Shaw and Morris both going up there, which is good news. Um, Shaw went up quite a bit there, actually. Yeah, nearly up to another half a rating, which is nice. Um, Keep on getting him up there. We're nearly halfway through the season, which is good. Here we go into September. Another squad report. Um, Harrison Shaw is out for four months. Jesus Christ! What are the chances? <laughs> what a joke. Um, but yeah, that's annoying. Look at these midfielders already to come through next year. That's decent. Anything in here that's going on? 86, why not? 74, no. 79 to 89. So 67 to 89. 83, not quite. It need to be 86. What is that? Um, a bit, not quite. I want 86 pluses. Now that guy looks unreal. We'll get him straight in. I think we can get him straight in again here in terms of the fact that he is able to play already. Reese Cook, I think his name was. There he is. We'll get him straight into the senior team. Tyler, I don't even mean to. Oh, he's not good enough, Tyler. He is. We're 39 rate. We'll leave him there for now because that potential is coming down a lot, I think. Um, Madsen can come in. Um, we'll just get them all in there and then we'll, we'll get rid of all the main players normally that aren't good enough. Um, as time goes on, so we'll play Crawley here and hopefully get a win. Um, and we're gonna have to train somebody else because Harrison Shaw is out injured now. Um, German scores and we lose to Crawley, which is really annoying, especially with Crawley being because we've got FA Cup coming up. Big game, so yeah, Shaw is out injured now, which is a shame that will hopefully not impact him too much. But we'll put Cook in because Cook's the one, this is the guy I'm keeping in now as well. Cook is the one. That's going to be good. Like the big midfielder. Like out of all of them, he looks like the most talented one um, there is. So we could go ball control, we could go passing, shooting. We'll go. We've done defending, sorry. We'll go ball control with the other bit and get his. Um, he did rubbish in the bucket thing. Um, really annoying um, start there, but hopefully his next training session can be better. So Macclesfield away, I mean, I don't have much confidence if he can win this, it'll be great, because it's good money as well, um, the FA Cup, so it might get a cup, be enough to enable a couple more youth players in at some point, but yeah, we'll um, play Macclesfield here, away at Mossroon, whatever it is, um, and here we go, and we get beat, that's really, really annoying, um, I'm not happy, real shame, 
but uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to just uh, get better. 16th though is not bad at all. Here we go, Cook and Morris goes up. I might get Morris in the squad um, as of a couple of weeks time. Maybe going into January we'll start putting Morris in um, as a first teamer because we're nearly halfway through the season now. So we might let him have a few more training sessions after this Newport game say again. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of players in here. I need to check this in a minute actually. What is like going on with the team because I really like don't know at the moment who's good and who's shy. But I have, I really feel like a strike has been shocking. But um, we'll see that um, pretty soon. Obviously James Weldon's um, good enough. Cuthbert, Digby Dent, and the defence is all good. Take oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sure that's like his first goal in about seven games, but he scores two. Um, Moves up to 15th in the league as well, which is good. Um, Reese Cook there, up and running again, um, getting himself higher, more ball control as well. Hill's just slowly going up, he's a decent one at the moment. So now we're going to quickly have a look at the squad hub. We're going to check our squad and see who has been performing the best in terms of goals. So, yeah, Taylor has scored literally one of a goal in 21 games. Let's hope he improves on that because that's what's costing us at the moment. We've got a centre mid to score more goals than a striker. We might I don't know what we're going to do actually. I've figured it out already what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, we have plus nine on Morris, um, which is really good. And he'll be going straight into the squad in a minute. And then we have Simeon Jackson and Abdiel going down, or El Abdul, or whatever he's called. So we're going to say we're going to put List into the striker role, and then we're going to put our new boy Morris in. And let's see how he does as his left mid position now. Get another youth in. Um, we'll keep training him for a couple more weeks as well. And try and get him up there to like a 63 maybe. Um, but yeah, he's not been good enough. None of them have been really up front. Other than List, he's been playing on the wing. So hopefully List as a striker can get us some more goals. Because um, we really do need some more goals actually. But uh, risk of losing three players, I'm sure they're all crap, so it's fine. I'm sure they're just old or um, they're running out of contract. I'm not going to give them a new contract because then they could be a nightmare to sell. So we'll get a crew now. Um, oh, they'll come to us actually. And we'll see how we do. We'll, do, we'll go up to a January transfer and we get beat by crew list score again though. So we'll go up to January with this episode and then we'll stop it there again. Um, but um, yeah, we go to Forest Green next. We'll do the training here. Um, Hopefully, I'm hoping that um, one of them at least goes up a rating here, Morris or um, Cook. Um, Cook's the one that goes up. He goes up quite a lot, I think. Jesus Christ, his defensive awareness, whatever it was, has gone up a load. Um, so, yeah, we're up to a 56 on Cook. Morris is um, getting closer to that 62, but he's not quite there yet, which is annoying. But um, maybe after this Forest Green game, he could be higher. Um, I don't know what's happening with our form, basically, in the top left. We're really a 52 manager. We're at Steam, and I don't know what they're expecting us to do uh, in this first season, but for some reason the board are fuming. Um, but yeah, um, performance review. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm probably going to end up getting sacked. Um, what are the targets? Which mid table? That's not bad, is it? Sell out at least 50%. We still have a 32 in the FA Cup. That's ridiculous. Brand exposure. And that's a joke. The, the fact that the round of 32 was a target for the FA Cup. And they were 15th in the league and they're complaining about mid-table. I'm going to have Ben Nugent. I'm going to lose at Plymouth, aren't we? So we're probably going to end up getting sacked. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is bad. It's a 50 now. Christ. Got another one. Oh dear. I better sign some bangers in this transfer window. 
I don't know what else I can really do at the moment. Like, the, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. Um, this might be the last ever episode next time, so... <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, hopefully not. I mean, if it gets sacked from this point, I don't really know what to say. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.